going to try to widen this up into something that, that makes sense. Okay. So, I know I've said a lot. I'd like to wind it up to make some sense, okay? So, the game that we're playing. I'm of several thoughts about this. One, I've heard the game was one that we chose to play. That it wasn't a game that we came to learn. That was one thing I've heard. Two, I've heard that we came for a purpose and we got trapped here because I might have mentioned it, we were like such horrible beings that they encompassed us in a literal prison planet called Earth to keep us from infecting the rest of galactic society. Oh my God, am I that bad? I don't know. Okay, that's another one. Uh, then there's one where, which is what I lean more toward to. I mean, I lean toward the part where I chose to come but then I, I think I still get a little fuzzy on part of that because it's like I, I can understand it. I you know obviously I like mixed mysteries I like to go and see and do and touch things obviously <laughs> but as far as choosing to come um of course you would think you would have a purpose for that choice uh yeah okay and then so i can deal with that i can deal with that but then um when i go back to what i just said about the blah the born live die hmm, not so much into that um but within that i could of course you know like try to be, be awakened and help people but still there's more there's so much more so, I guess, I mean, I'm sitting here looking at the water, thinking so many things. I'm actually trying not to look at the water because it's starting to bring up other things <laughs> that are not really what I'm trying to say here. I really want to know other people's thoughts. You know, I, like I said, I try not to think. I'm trying to just go from the soul here. You know, this, there's not a lot of thought processes involved you probably know that by the disorganization but the idea is to skip the thinking when you're thinking too much as we know our frenemy the brain the, the mind you know he gets in there and does a little thing so you want to skip a lot of this uh middleman and come from the heart so that's what my goal is always to come right from there. To go from here to you. And not from here to here to you. <laughs> anyway. So the idea is to expand your inner thinking. And to get you off of this freaking hamster wheel into reality that the existence this um the energy to get into the energy of the space which is the earth and not to be so much into the energy of the rat race right so that more of us can the more of us who are thinking this way the easier it'll be to bypass <laughs> and the easier it is, the more we can communicate, okay? And a lot of times, the lack of communication with me is that um, I have a lot of nonverbal thinking or uh, um, nonverbal communication that I do with people. Um, a lot of people that spend a lot of time with me, we don't talk a lot. It's just interesting. Like, I'll be with a friend... And it's like, I'll be trying to explain something to her. And she goes, no, I know what you mean. And then she'll tell me, and we'll have this conversation. And I realize a lot of it is not talking. It's because we are of the same mind. And so, but if there is more people with open minds that way, oh my gosh. 
And I know there are more people that are opening to that. But the more there are, the easier it is to communicate these things I'm trying to express. And that is that our reality is way more important than our dramedy. Our dramedy of life is a distraction from our reality of the experience that we have come to have. And that is the bottom line. All right, talk to you soon.